To New Zealanders, fresh water is essential to our economy and our way of life. We play in it and we use it to generate clean, renewable energy to power our homes and businesses. It irrigates our farms. Tourists visit our lakes and rivers and spend money in the surrounding communities. We value fresh water for spiritual and cultural reasons. It's our most valuable natural asset. Potentially, fresh water offers us even greater economic opportunities, but we know we're not using it as efficiently as we could be. And as our population grows, we need to be smarter and more careful about how we use it so that our children and grandchildren will be able to enjoy it and benefit from it like we do. The government has a plan for more productive and sustainable use of our fresh water. It's already given national direction to regional councils to set limits for water quality and quantity. They have to manage within them so they can maintain and improve the overall quality of water in their region. Now it's proposing more guidance and tools to help them do this. The government is making changes so you and your council can work together to resolve upfront what you want from your water resources and then put that in the regional plan. The government is working with scientists, iwi and water users on a national framework to help councils and communities ensure your fresh water is available for the uses and values that are important to you. The National Objectives Framework is a tool to help communities make decisions in a systematic and consistent way. It guides thinking and planning and as the science becomes settled, it will continue to be populated with more information. It will provide us with a common language for talking about the way we manage fresh water, instead of everyone paying different experts to argue in the Environment Court about the science and the way competing uses might affect water quality. Under the system the government's proposing, your council will have to collect better and more standardised information about what's going into the water and how much is being taken out. This information and the framework will help you and your council work out what needs to be done to ensure that it's suitable for the values and uses you want. Thinking about the places you want water to be available for farming or swimming or fishing, you'll need to look at the things that affect water quality. For example, E. coli levels have to be low if you want to swim. That might mean upgrading sewage treatment or requiring fencing and planting along riverbanks. Or You might look at a combination of limits and management options, like stricter controls on discharge consents and fencing off stock. You'll also be able to set timeframes to adjust to the new rules and practices that work for the community so existing businesses can adapt. If the cost is high, you might want to rethink your objectives or think about how taking a longer time could get you there. Once you've looked at the different scenarios and considered the trade-offs, councils can make decisions and write them into their regional plans. The government believes working together upfront on freshwater planning will mean less arguing down the track. If resource users and the people living by the freshwater resource have input into the plan, they'll be more likely to understand and accept it. This means decisions and plans are less likely to face appeals in the Environment Court. So we will reduce costs, achieve more lasting decisions and greater certainty for businesses and water users, while making sure we have water quality we can be proud of. Fresh water is our most valuable asset. Our future depends on it.